Hey everybody. Here's a quick little update. I'm going to try and piece together small sections of video and and kind of give you a, a feel for the, my very first parts of gameplay for less than 60 miles, which is from Thin Red Line Games. So I may post these individually and then we'll combine it all together for a, a proper AAR, but for the time being, let's just have a look at the setup and see what's going on here. We've got two full divisions. We've got the 27th guard and we've got the 39th guard, which is basically this section here. Both of them are part of the 8th guard's army. And we have a variety of other assets that are attached. We've got missile units over here. We've got uh, higher army level or group level uh, artillery that is spread out amongst these guys in here. In fact, I think that's one of them there, perhaps. And each formation, as you can see, has got its own unique color bar, which allows us to distinguish the different formations and fun things like that. Each division has got some battalion-sized formations that are basically can basically be used as recon units. And then there's also, this is uh, self-propelled artillery. And I've got those set up in the game as uh, in their starting posture. Uh, I keep using the word mode, so please consider those two words interchangeable. But posture as recon, where everybody else will be in mobile assault mode. So rather than putting an MASL counter underneath all of these individual units, we're going to just know that everybody is in muscle mode or muscle posture until such time as they're not, in which case we will put something different under that specific unit and everything will be in uh, this mode. Now, the way the rules work is that if it doesn't have a counter, it's in tactical mode, but I'm just trying to keep things uh, uncluttered for the time being while we kind of grok the rules. The interesting thing is, is that uh, orders are for HQs, and let me just grab my notes here to make sure I say this correctly so I don't uh, start leading you down the primrose path from moment one. So each HQ obviously has a posture. It can either be moving or deployed. But they, they use command points to issue orders. And those orders are fairly uh, broad or generic. They're either moving, attacking, assaulting is the, the word they use, or defending, and then there's refitting. And I think there's one other potentially, uh, one other mode as well, but I'm forgetting right now. Oh, yes, moving the CAS. Uh, the air support thing and moving uh, and then also changing uh, uh, so, uh, doing a support reorganization and those orders that the HQs issue can be done at the army divisional or brigade equivalent regiment equivalent level and they cost a varying amount of command points to execute against so <clears throat> you're thinking okay well kevin you just said uh, hey it's a move mode or assault mode but you've got something very specific here this is recon and this says mobile assault so how does that work well yeah, from what i can tell and what i'm uh, ascertaining here is that each each divisional brigade or battalion type of hq order for each side has a number of valid postures, which is all on a nice little chart here and all very easy to follow. So I can look across and go, oh, divisional move for NATO means that I can use uh, road mode, tactical mode, screening mode, recon mode, or shoot and scoop mode uh, posture, right? Let me just show you that here. So here's this little table, right? And you can see those orders there. And those postures on the uh, this column here, I can then go up and look at the very specific uh, capabilities of that posture and know that it's going to have an impact upon my bombardment rating, my movement. Uh, it'll tell me the movement mode I'm in. It'll tell me my attack modifiers and defensive modifiers based on the posture I'm in. So that's all very cool. So that all just layers nicely. You start out the game with a given uh, set of orders that you will be using, that you decide upon, and then you issue your orders uh, for for postures 
and all the units can start in pretty much whatever posture you wish them to uh, start in. And then it's when you get into the game that you may need to change postures and that's gonna take an amount of time. <clears throat> and we're gonna use these little time counters uh, starting from, uh, so there's these hour zero through hour 18 and over the back I'm sure it goes even further, yeah, 21, etc. right? So we're gonna use those uh, counters to keep track of when those orders will become efficient. That little counter will go underneath the unit when we wanna change the, the the posture of the, the specific formation or units within that formation. Right, <clears throat> so that's that part of it. So I think we've got all of the Soviets set up and the, the, uh, these guys, 27th Guard, are, are intending upon marching up this road here to Hard Bad Herzfeld and they will be attempting to cross the Mind Bridge uh, defeat the defensive works that are in place and fight this uh, the 211th Cav uh, screening unit, which is here. It'll be in tactical move mode. It'll have these modifiers applied to it for bombardment, etc. And uh, here's the tactical guys that are going to come up to recon. And recon is going to add some value potentially to the movement that's coming these guys are going to move along here and kind of attack from the march. It's a, it's a specific mode that's allocated to just the, just the, uh, just the Soviets. It's called March Assault, right? Uh, that's only for w, well, uh, yeah, WP, Armour, Mech, Recon, and Cadre units with a four or better, which will be all of these guys pretty much. So I think we're in good shape there. Now there's one other thing we do need to uh, take into consideration and that is placing down when, when we set up, placing down where we want to have our air support and what, uh, what, what area that's going to cover. These things have a four hex range, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So there's, they're going to be able to provide <coughs> air support in this, this area here and there'll be AA and other things we'll have to deal with but this allows us to provide uh, coverage for both on the attack and the defense for our various units. All right, I uh, move my HQ up in closer. When you set up, you've got a, a 10 hex range in this particular scenario that you can use to uh, set things up. I was not 100% clear where this order went. So I've just put it underneath the uh, fifth core. And it's got a, it's issued a divisional defend order, which is going to allow me, uh, just, and I'll just so we can see here, tactical movement, uh, tactical posture, defense, rigid defense, active defense, screening, barrage, shoot and scoot and FARP. Uh, and actually FARP, FARP is a interesting, another interesting mode because it's only specifically for these uh, attack helicopter units and it's going to allow them to support units with their combat value within their range. Uh, so these guys could actually be set back quite a bit further because their range is 24. <clears throat> we might actually do that. We might push these guys back to Lao back right back here a little bit. Keeping in mind though that if I wanted to fly Nap of Earth, there is a capability to do that and that would reduce the range by half and it would also reduce the combat value by half, but it would also reduce my uh, profile when it came to AA and things of that nature. All right, so that's, that's kind of the setup. We're ready to go. We're, we're gonna move 39th Guard and probably come and try and attack through Fulda uh, or perhaps even uh, Newhoff here at this, this bridge here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We're, we're just going to try and work it out, focus on the mechanics, get them right, and then we'll get stuck into the actual uh, the nuances of the strategy and tactics as needed. You may note that there's, there are also supply units as well. I have not put them on the board for the Soviets just yet. Uh, they'll be in the backfield here somewhere along with uh, the missile units that have a monster 60 range as you can see here so all right there we go so that's just a quick little introduction and we'll we'll keep chipping away at this from from there um, get get uh, i'm fixing to start any second <laughs>